everyone. Welcome back to Halo Reach. We're back right where I said we'd be. Yeah. And we're going to see how well it manages to load all of these. It appears that Noble Team's discovery last night was not an anomaly. Large Covenant deployments have occurred undetected, and we are now under attack across the Vieri territory, including orbital defenses. As per the winter contingency, we are countering on every front. Noble's reconnaissance has also identified sophisticated Covenant army hiding canopies and has pinpointed what's believed to be a landing zone for additional Covenant forces, the origin of which is yet to be determined. If you want to see your military money, this is your big Tom Clancy bucks. That landing zone has been tagged by UNSC command as the priority one target. Discharge link is loud and clear. Copy that. Acquiring signal lock on the pylon. Detonating in three, two. I wonder why the humans never really adapted plasma tech. Like, the only tech-based shit that they ever really got was... Was, uh, the Spartan laser. You know, you think they might look into it like, hey, this is pretty effective. No, Wilhelm! So, this is a... Sorry, this is a really, really hard intro. There's just a whole bunch of Covenant, and there's not really too much cover besides these rocks. And like, yeah, this is that thing where it's like they want to show what it feels like to lose a war. And that's what it feels like. Everyone just gets bombarded in the first 10 minutes or so, you know? Like you may as well be in a trench. So this uh, grenade launcher is notably pretty hard to use. This was back when, gee, many Christmas. Uh, this was back when Black Ops and such were kind of ruling Wreck and Shop. And they called the grenade launcher the noob tube because it was easy to score kills with. Bungie, having played it and said, wow, this thing's bullshit. Um, balance their grenade launcher in such a way that it was particularly difficult to use. And in some cases, I'm not even sure if it was worth it. Uh, but it was named the Pro Pipe as a counter to the noob tube. Just because it's kind of annoying to use. Uh, as a kid, I would always ditch it as soon as... That's what's been shooting me. As a kid, I would often ditch it as soon as possible just because I hated using it. You heard the lady target that turret. Playing rocket tag with this elite. Is that the bump just there? <laughs> Hell yeah. Can I get an oorah? Uh, this level was shown in press releases, I believe. It was either this or another one. 
uh, sword base, I think. Hold on. Oh, good. It's a jackal. Thought it might have been a guy with lore or something. Uh, it's either this level or sword base, wherein Cat is given the chance to drive a warthog, and it's the bungee devs showing off the showing off the game, and rather notably, they kick Cat out of the driver's seat and force her to sit somewhere else so they can drive. Because even Bungie knows that they can't code uh, driving AI. And, you know, shout out to them to admitting it, you know? Oops, whoops. Ah. Almost no game will ever beat Dark Souls and their enemy pain or their player pain sounds. Ah. Ah. So, um, back when Halo was running the fucking world, there were Halo Mega Blocks. I don't know if anyone remembers those. I had a few. Yeah, let's blow everything up. Did that deflect? Can the grenade launcher deflect? Because that's dope. There's actually a few weapons in this game that I know specifically can deflect other things. Um, like with the gravity hammer or the armor lock, you can actually use the, the burst to knock away stuff. Oh, look at cat. Look at cat, please. Go team. Woof. But anyway, um, I had a Mega Block set of this. Of this specific scene. There were some Spartans. Uh, I think there were some Elites. And there was this big AA gun. And I'm pretty sure that there was a Warthog that I could never figure out how to build. I don't know what it was. I mean, again, I was a stupid kid. It's not like that now. Now I'm a stupid adult. <laughs> my recording setup is very jank. Hey, if anyone would like to donate to my Patreon, just know that you will be buying me a new mic stand because this is egregious. Oh boy. Oh boy. Boing. Who oh boy? Who oh boy? Can I actually, can I just? Control two Lima four. Permission to commence bombing run. Heading two two four point six. Over. There's that famine kicking in. So something particularly useful that you can do with plasma pistols is that um, they ha they carry an EMP effect with them. When you uh, do a full charge and shoot something, it'll EMP something, which you can use to knock out vehicles. And if the vehicle does not have a turret of its own, you can use that to run up on them and board the vehicle. As, you know, you can probably try to see me do there. Aw, <laughs> oh, damn, really? Well, that was more effective than I really thought it would be. Everyone's dead, and I really haven't expended a shell of human ammo. Just covenant bodies and vehicles. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Of course, it would get me killed on higher difficulty levels because I wouldn't have the shields to survive it. But hey. 
That never works, right? Oh, already, huh? So luckily, you don't have to whittle down the vehicle's defense if you can just hit the driver. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. Oh man. <laughs> well, that was about as uh, bad as it could have gone, I think. I like that we're getting a new cat quip every time. I really love hitting people with low velocity vehicles. See, it worked the first time and then it stopped doing that. I wish that it worked every time. Well, that couldn't really be helped. I'm not going to get a good score on this, am I? I would love to see what the RNG looks like for Reach. Uh, I recently saw a write-up of how the RNG works in the original Doom. It is largely just a D8. A lot of it is calculated with a... Uh, number that runs things from from zero to one uh, from zero to seven and then adds one of the outcomes so you don't get a zero which means that a lot of stuff in the original doom is just rolled on a d8 which is pretty damn dope in my opinion So in addition to the uh, shrimpy health of the... I didn't get away in time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. In addition to the shrimpy health... Oh, damn it. Shrimpy health of the grunts. They have more than one weak point. Of course, the headshot will kill them pretty quick. But also, uh, if you hit him in the back... I can't remember if it's a one-hit kill. But something that you can absolutely definitely do is... Uh, that's the EMP I talked about. Something that you can do is shoot them in the back and it'll make their... Uh... Sorry, I'm just getting hairy. The tube on their gas tank will be severed and they'll just explode because it's methane that they're breathing. So I'm down one ghost. Really lame of those guys to destroy my car. Someone has a fuel rod cannon. Or did I just get it shot with something else that's green? That's the EMP for the... Wow, this is really, really lame. That's the EMP from Armor Lock, by the way. Oh, get away, get away. Yeah, this is a... Uh this is probably the longest I've been stuck in a while. Okay, get out, get out. That was stupid. I shot myself. Pile of metals. What is that achievement? Okay, then we back out. And then let's just start peppering them. That's the EMP from the... Oh, the Wraith is already here, huh? Cool. I love that. So something that I know for a fact that you can do. In some cases, rare cases, you can actually... Oh, cat. That was dumb. That was really stupid. Why'd I do that? I didn't want to switch, but also I was going to die. So I just tried to melee. 
Um, something that I know that you can do with decent success is that in some cases, if you just hang out, you can force the game to give you a checkpoint. Checkpoints are given based on a couple of different factors. Um, for one, the game has to know that you're safe, essentially. Jeez, dude. Me, I mean. I'm an idiot. Yeah, there's a lot of these around. Come on, did that not do it? There. There we go. Control two Lima four. Permission to commence bombing run. Heading two two four point six over. Hey, the ghost is fine. Down one EMP, of course, but besides that. Oh boy. Jeez. He was at a disadvantage there. He can't shoot close enough to his own body. So he was stuck just trying to hope that I would back away. But then he just cleaned me. But until that happened, I could just kind of pepper his front. Ken, if you could be any sort of help, that would be amazing, just so you know. I know that, like, you know, Semper Fi is, you know, kind of an option for us. God damn it, cat. Hey, I got a checkpoint, though. Oh, boy. Jeez. Well, let's just try speedrunning. There's a level in ODST that you can beat in like two minutes. And it works on like every difficulty level. And it's because uh, it's a very vehicle heavy level. Oh, that's interesting. They just dropped a new bridge on it. Damn it. There's just so many vehicles, and I really don't have the health to tank it. Let's see if we can be a coward. God damn it. Because this isn't meant to be like, a, oh, damn, this is so hard. I'm just an idiot. God damn you all. <laughs> I promise I'm not an idiot. Well, no, I don't promise that. I'm an idiot. I promise I'm not trying to fuck up here. Oh, you're here. You Want to help? No. Well, I'm pretty fast if I run. Fast as fuck, boy. Turns out I was the fuck boy. This is all kinds of stupid. Six.
Here, this will be safer, right? A weapon that doesn't have a gun on it? Or a vehicle? Oh, damn it. Oh, come on. Please draw their fire. Do something useful, please. You are useless. Cat's useless. I hope she gets shot. Oh my god, there was a checkpoint. Well, maybe now I can not screw this up. Doesn't look like it. This is dumb. Another reason that Halo was considered revolutionary was because of uh, its use of vehicle levels. Before Half-Life 2, for that matter, there's a lot of games that, like, just rip off Half-Life 2 and don't do it as well. You guys ever heard of, a uh, what is it called? Inversion? It was this, like, 2011, like, Gears of War clone, like, wall shooter. Uh, and the main thing was that, like, gravity would invert at times and, like, you would fight on, like, the side of a building. And one of the one of the pulls in the game was that there was a weapon that was just a worse version of the Half-Life 2 gravity gun. And I always think about that, you know? Like the difference between gosh. The difference between Half-Life 2 and Inversion was like a couple of years. And like games are known for evolving pretty quickly. Oh, cool, I got a checkpoint. It took mercy on me. Games are known for being a very quickly evolving media, compared to, like, books that have been pretty much unchanged for a couple billion years. You know? Dinosaurs probably wrote books, right? We don't have any record of dinosaur printing presses, but that's just what the government wants you to think. But yeah, like, games really don't work like, like any other media does. But yeah, just ripping stuff off of old games is a valid way to make a game, but like, it can't suck, you know? If you're going to steal from someone, do it, do it good. Like all those Dark Souls clones, you know? I see you. I see why you want to rip off Dark Souls. And I see why every game wants to be the next Dark Souls of whatever. You know? Hollow Knight is like if Dark Souls was a Metroidvania. Yes, I know. Um, Ooh. We're onto something big, Commander. Eyes on the prize, Noble. Take out that zealot if you get the chance. But keep moving toward the spires. Halo's not really known for uh boss fights. I think about that sometimes, and it's valid. Like I can literally think of maybe a boss fight in the series. It's Guilty Spark at the end of uh, 3. Halo 3, that is. Um, and I guess you could consider the Scarab a boss fight, but, like, Scarab is almost more of just, like, another vehicle, you know? It's such an interesting way to come at a game, because, like, usually, even in shooters, you do have, like, emphasis on the boss fight. Like, Doom doesn't have a lot of it, but, like, even Doom does, and Doom is an old-ass game. Actually, you take this. I want you to have this. Please. Oops. So this is my guy, by the way. I wanted these. Not only because I love this weapon, it's probably my favorite Covenant weapon ever, but I also would love the ability to score more ammo. Considering I should be getting more of it, right? Very nice clean this area out. And these guys only drop plazies.
I love that animation. Just, ah, oh, fuck, ow. Burn my hand. This thing must get hot if a Spartan threw, you know, 10 layers of armor and rubber and gel layer and shield is like, ooh, you know? I remember I got stuck here for a few minutes when I was playing this in Legendary. Ooh, that's not great. Well, let's hunker down and wait. Pope and JJ are going to get slaughtered. Asshole. Ooh, that animation didn't work exactly right. All right. You know, Doom also doesn't really have a lot of great boss fights. Because the Cyber Demon and the Spider Demon start showing up as like, you know, they're still dangerous encounters, but they're almost considered normal enemies. They just show up with the least frequency. Oh boy. Ooh, Grace. And the Icon of Sin just shows up the one time. Besides that other time, of course. Ooh, boy. That was pretty alpha. Nope, I don't want this. You can always rely on the weapon drops. The Covenant ones look like this, and the UNSC ones look like this. You can always, always rely on them to have uh, full ammo, even on the highest difficulty and famine. They will still have max ammo. Where did that go? Man, if enemies could run out of ammo, that would be great. Because then... I feel like that wouldn't be too over... Where did he go? Sure. I don't like this thing, but I'll use it. Because I don't think it'd be too overpowered. Because, like... In the sense of... Oh, get back here. Eh, I'll take a ghost. Yoink. In the sense of, like, now this enemy just can't use this, you know, busted-ass weapon anymore. Like, yeah, that makes the enemies weaker, and so it makes the game easier. But also it means that defeating an enemy now has much less reward, because if you do it after the weapon's done for, then you just don't get that good weapon. And I feel like that's an interesting way. I would love it if there were skulls that just changed the game balance, you know? Like, they didn't make it harder, but in some cases they might make it easier. But I would love it if they just made the game weirder. So, having neutralized an enemy AA gun, anti-air gun, uh, I will now do another one, but now even more by myself. That was great. So, their shields have a thing going on. They neutralize damage, because, you know, it's a shield. Um, and it works like a normal energy shield, but it just oop, holds in place. I'm going to check if I'm still recording. All right, it says I'm still recording, and if I'm not, then the worst I have to do is just replay a mission in a great game. But yeah, so their shields tank damage from the front, but in some cases that does mean that, like, crash damage, damage that normally does not just get noited, stops being a, a factor. <laughs> Wow, he just got chewed up. Oh, excuse me, everyone.
This thing's starting to break down. Also, so am I. Bail out. Do you think they trust purple Spartans? I was just thinking about it, but like the Covenant's like go-to color is purple, and then the UNSC has green. You know, ODST is a green. Night Vision is green. Master Chief is green. There's notably only one surviving member of Noble Team, and it's the green one. You son of a bastard. That's me, guys. Oh, I can use this now, actually. I forgot that I had this. So there's a thing that you can do where you shoot the fellas there and get them to leap out of the way. But, haha, I trolled you. They actually just open themselves up to be shot. So this is the plasma gun, oops, plasma launcher, I should say. It's got a zoom, it's an AoE weapon, you hold the trigger to charge and fire, and they track. That's not bad, it's just very situational. This is another one of those rare weapons, and again, shout the hell out to Bungie to just putting things in their levels that, that you never see, you know? I love fun game mechanics, no matter how rare they are. That's neat. I love that. Ooh, okay, so that's not bad. I can work with that. Um, it would have been better if I had sent my uh, dummy to a different place. But yeah, um, something I really wanted to do in this Let's Play was to show off Six's ability to adapt. Because, like, it's really his niche, you know? To just hot swap and adapt. In the same way that Chief will, like, have his guns and just rapid swap to something else that he just looted from a dead guy and then kill someone with that and like you know it's very cut y of me to just do that you know GGR. something i love i love when xenofiction gives go that way i love when xenofiction gives fake latin names to species it's something that this game does, and it, uh, it's also something that Half-Life does. Half-Life, another very, very good example of video game writing. But uh, the fellas in this game all have their own unique little Latin you know, name, just as you would a normal Earth species. And presumably space species, should we ever discover them. My money, you know, isn't high on that sundial. Ooh, the drop shield. I haven't actually used the drop shield much. Hey guys, that's me right there. Go get him. Good job. Nope, it's me right here. Oh god! <laughs> See, that's the thing. That's actually mentioned in, on the wiki as one of the downsides of the uh, plasma grenade as well as the plasma cannon. In the time that it takes for those things to blow up, someone can kill you. And sometimes it's with the explosion that you just triggered. All right. I need to have this more charged before I... Okay, now? That's me. Go that way. He didn't fall? It's inconceivable. That's me. Shut the hell up, Carter. Just because you yell at me doesn't make me work faster. In fact, I'm going to work slower. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to sit here and admire myself. Look at that helmet. I've, I've been wanting that helmet for years, you know? Everything else is pretty stock, but... Also, I love the knife, you know? It's a very simple knife, but, like, I love when you just put stuff like that on characters. It makes them look cooler. It makes them, like, a little more interesting. Oops. No, please give me this.
This is dumb. There, maybe now? There we go, all right. Actually, I can use this. So the drop shield is the bubble shield from Halo 3, but it also heals you. As you can see, my health was recovering at a very accelerated rate. It's very useful, and it can actually take some hits from heavy artillery. You can hear Six hissing there because he's like, ah, ooh, my hands. I like that. Kill all jackals. They really filled me up with my, uh, some good artillery here. I believe that they're, yep, there they are. So this is one of the only, if I remember correctly, this is one of the only two places that uh, the bugs show up. They are called oh what are they called the thing is, is that every species has three names they have the latin name they've got the actual species name they've got the nickname that the military calls them uh, i remember that their actual species name is yanma which is uh, interesting. Yanma is the name, is the Japanese word for beetle or dragonfly, uh, which is the source of the Pokemon Yanmaga. Let's grab one of these. Um, if I remember correctly, they are based off the buggers or formics from Ender's Game. For those who don't know, Ender's Game is another like long-running space uh, book series that was turned into a movie once, and I believe very briefly a Tekken clone fighting game. I can't remember if that was a real thing or just a joke in a Penny Arcade comic, though. Sorry, bro. Please fall over. Six, I need that gun down. Bro, are you looking at my feed? I'm killing my, like, six, fifth and six hunters here. Not to mention, uh... The, uh, two tanks I just killed with guns that I did not own and... I've never used before because they're Covey guns. Hmm. Well, I see your point. I'll uh, circle back around. You know, he put up a good defense, made some valid points, and I think if I re-examine my argument, I can really come at him with a full strength, you know? The kind of discussion that this sort of thing requires. Try to zoom in there, but this gun doesn't even allow zooming. I'm over there, actually. Shoot at that. Please shoot at that, in fact. Please. Please. Please, I'm right there. No, now I'm here. Kagebunshin no jutsu. I can't get into their head, their flesh. Um, it looks like the needle guns, the rifle on the needler, don't actually... Either they don't trigger on them, or I'm just hitting their f their big fat armor too much, which you know isn't too helpful. Oop. I didn't get unscoped, so I didn't take damage. I've got an idea. I just need to. Oh, they can. Okay, so you just have to hit their flesh parts. Oh, checkpoint, cool. Right in front of a uh, hunter, huh? Where are you going, bro? It would be great if you could just get the gun off of a hunter's arm. 
Ooh, boy. Oh, Grace. That'll do. I don't mind the plasma rifle. It's a cool-looking gun. It gets the job done, too. I'm over here. You know, it's just, it's a solid workhorse. In the same way that the assault rifle is just the job done getterer. I shouldn't have expected that to work. Oh, was that? Oh, did I shoot it out? Guess I did. Cool. I didn't need to use my backup plan, which was to go get a vehicle. Now, I think I'm actually running up along the end of the checkpoint here. The end of the mission here, but I am still going to go... Well done, Six. Pony needs up close recon on those fires. I'm going to go grab some more ammunition for this. Damn, that's everything. Okay. Oh, wait, there actually is a little more. Is that Steve Bloom? Dude, you didn't really give me a... Sure, why not? That's okay, I guess. Do you have a shotgun? Nade launcher. Okay. Fine by me. Of course, it doesn't matter because this is a turret sequence. Let's go, bro. This was one of my favorite multiplayer maps, not just for the scenery, but also the verticality. You having difficulty, bro? Alright, cool. There goes trouble. These shade turrets cleaned my clock a couple of times while I was uh, doing this in Legendary. So on PC, I actually haven't beat this game on Legendary yet. I totally intend to, just for the clout. Because, like, hey, that's some for real bragging, you know? Halo on Legendary is no joke. I would love to do Lasso, but um, that's a lot. I actually totally wouldn't. Lasso sucks. Lasso is very, very unfair. Um, although doing it on multiplayer makes it very, very easier for a lot of reasons. Oh, I just remembered that it doesn't matter that I filled up my ammunition because of a cutscene. So as you can see, this dual layer shield blocks my uh, equipment from getting through any grenades or artillery. He's so blasé about it. Spartans are good at surviving falls. Part of it is because of that armor lock thing that, you know, we can do. That's why George is like, hey, lock your armor. Now, get this gun again. You love it, right? Don't you love this fucking gun? Crew's dead. We shouldn't stay here. Give me one of these. Hell yeah. Jetpacks are the best. Of course, I'm not using them to the uh, best of their ability, but that's okay. I'm dumb. 
Oh, is that a beam rifle? Yep, that was a beam rifle. Uh, those are particularly nasty laser cannons that are used as sniper guns. They're very, very long range. And very, very unfriendly. I can see a much, much more measured approach is going to be necessary here. Shit, man. I didn't know jackals could jump. That's pretty dope. <sighs> Man, this game is really good. Like, I'm just playing it again and like, shit, dude, this game is so fun. It's really well balanced. Ooh, am I still recording? <laughs> uh, I'm still recording. Been recording for 47 minutes or so. Wow, amazing. I wish, I, I know that like it makes no sense because it's, you know, a different game mechanic thing. I wish I had the visor from ODST. And for those who didn't play, no shame, it's ODST. I'm just one of the weirdos who happens to like ODST. Um, visor is the thing that is, you know, based off of, sorry, Visor is another mechanic similar to this focus rifle. A lot of zoom, a lot of more zoom, long-range beam weapon, but it overheats. Visor is just the night vision mode you get in ODST because a huge, huge chunk of that game is actually during the night. Um, but also, it's how you can track enemies a little easier. And it's extremely pleasant because... Do you think these guys feel bad? When just a seven foot tall Spartan just kind of descends in front of them? The Firebird, you know? Damn. Anyway, Visor has better recognition for tracking uh, opponents. It just has a thing where it can you know, see opponents a little better. It outlines them in big, obvious red. Uh, and it makes it even useful in the day, which is probably why they got rid of it. Oh my god, I still have this. I'm all the way back here. Oh, excuse me, I hiccuped. Oh, boy. Hey, here's a hot, hot tip for any, any first-person shooter. If you're not shooting, reload. Is that Cheerios I taste? It is. I, I just ate a lot of Cheerios. Not like Cheerios with flavor or anything. Who do you think I am? All right, I'm going to hang out here for a little bit. Give me one of these, please. Damn. So if you're really good, you can actually jetpack up to that thing and hijack it. And it's the coolest thing you'll ever do. Damn, there's an elite in there too. What about a hooey? Let's scavenge some weapons actually. This... This will be the most useful. More plazzy is always good. Just to be able to stack damage. There's the bump, I think. 
uh, the bump, I think I mentioned it a few times, it's uh, a glitch. Well, it's more of a quirk just with the... Uh-oh. With the Halo... Hmm. That's not good. Now we drop and hit the brakes and ski. It's a glitch with the Halo engine wherein... Oh, I blew him up too close to me. <laughs> I got splash damaged. Wherein passing by objects causes them to flinch almost. Oh, for God's sake. So, what about this? How do you guys like this, huh? Skiing, if I remember correctly, is a thing uh, from Tribes. I believe it's Tribes. Um, which is a very classic first-person shooter known for its use of jetpacks. This is a thing that you can do where you almost float along the ground. So I'm actually far enough away from the shade that he can't get me. So as long as I can land up here, I should be good, right? Oh, please be gentle with me. Now, if I'm unlucky, that shade can 360 pivot. And can shoot me. I shouldn't go up there without a plasma pistol. There's a bunch of elites. This'll do. You know, it's a rifle, but... I don't really need to clear out the bottom floor as well, so I may as well just pop off. This is always really cool. Oh, Carter and his Falcon. Oh, that's a fuel rod. Right, of course. Why would this be safe? George, shut up. You're fine. I'm trying to watch my motion tracker. I was r When I was a kid, one thing that I was actually really, really good at was I was amazing at tracking my motion tracker and what I was actually looking at. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, I, I just spawned. I was actually really, really, really skilled at uh, keeping eyes on my motion tracker and my screen. I know. I'm working on it. Carter's such a jackass sometime. Whoa! Now there is an adequate challenge for me. Let's go. Let's fucking go. I'm ready. Let's tango. Oh, I try to see if I could, like, block it with my hand. And, of course, why not, you know? I mean, how could I? I'm aware. I'm getting pincer attacked. June's kind of a freak. <gasps> if I can get in there. Oh, I'm the god of war. 
I know, I know, shut up. Let me enjoy this, damn you. I barely get to use these things, although I think I actually get to use them next level. Where did my jetpack go? Don't worry. I just got my assault rifle and my sprint back. It's probably a pistol on my hip as well. Get us out of here. Control. This is Noble One. Fire One is green and you're free to engage. Have a nice day. Glad, glad. Copy that, Noble One. Be advised, all ground units. Frigate 318 Heavy is inbound and MAC rounds have been authorized. MAC rounds? In atmosphere? One way to get their attention. Hang on to your teeth, people. Hey, that Mac Cannon, we're going to see that again. I never realized how much damn foreshadowing there is. Wow. That's so dope. Yeah, like, we just want a tiny little foothold, a toehold, even. And then they just completely annoyed it by just putting that in the atmosphere. One way to get their attention. Well, you got it, bro. Long Night of Solace. Hell yeah. So this is one of the longest levels. Which is why it's going to be another damn episode. I can't believe that they just rolling start you from one episode to the next. Um, that's been Halo Reach. Thanks for coming by. I had a really fun time with that one. I love the jetpack. This level's long, so hey, get some damn popcorn for the next one. Because, whew. Um, I definitely want to record the next one. It might take it out of me. My voice is already losing uh, its timbers. So, hey, we'll see you, though. Uh, I've been Alfred. Thanks for coming by. This has been Halo Reach.